Hello dear students. Welcome back to another interesting and exciting session of economics. This is our lecture 1 of week 10. I hope you have understood the last lecture. Let us start our today's lecture. The objectives of our today's lecture are To elaborate the factors affecting savings To understand and write about the benefits of savings to write the answers of short questions and to solve the worksheet my lovely students let me check your prior knowledge about savings can you tell me what do you know about the term savings why do we need to save money what are the benefits of savings your response will be appreciated what do we mean by the term savings? I am sure that you all have heard this term many times. So in economics we study money management and utilization of resources for the satisfaction of our wants. So in relation to this we must know what is savings and its importance. Savings is the money a person has left over when they subtract their expenses, consumption, from their income over a given time period. Savings are must for future. Saving is the excess of income over expenses. Your consumption or expenses will reduce your savings. So we must reduce the expenditures to increase savings. For example, if a man earns 70,000 and he spends 10,000, what will be his savings? Can you calculate? As I said earlier that excess of income over expenses is your savings so. How much this person saves? Yes you are absolutely right. His savings are 60,000. This is the formula to calculate savings. Dear students. Now we are going to study the factors which affect your savings. There are two factors on which savings depend. These two factors are Will to save and power to save money. Will to save means the intention of a person to save. If a person is not willing to save, he can't. A person can only save money when he is responsible. Saving is must for unforeseen expenses so, everyone must save money. I hope now all of you will start saving your money. The next factor on which your savings depend is Power to save This is something related to your income level. Power to save means the capacity of a person to save. If a person has high income, he can save more. High income people have more power to save. My students do you know why we need to save money? There are many reasons of saving money. Few are the following reasons. To meet foreseen expenses. What are your foreseen expenses? Which you know or which are expected? Medical care education building a house. To meet unforeseen expenses. Unforeseen means which are uncertain and we do not know. For example if your car is damaged by an accident and you need money for the repair work so this expense is unforeseen expense. To maintain a reserve to make some provision for future expenses. Bank saving is done to earn interest. When we open a saving account in a bank. Sometimes we save money. For social status. Now see in this picture people save money for vacations. For medical care. For old age as mentioned retirement. For rainy days as said earlier the unforeseen expenses. So. There could be many reasons of saving money. Now you have to give short answers of the following questions. Question number one. What is saving? In the answer of this question you have to write the definition and example of savings. 
Question number 2. What are the benefits of savings? In the answer of this question you have to elaborate the benefits or advantages of savings. Question number 3. Why do people save money in bank? In the answer of this question you have to write that people save their money in the bank for safety and for earning interest. My dear students, see you in the next class. All of you must complete the work and solve the worksheet on time. Thank you.